what up guys welcome to another video modern day muscle um this video i'm going to be reviewing the brakes and rotors that i uh got installed on the car in the last video yo so real quick before i get into the video guys let me tell you something about impulse buying don't do it um, I just recently got a fence installed at my house and I thought these, uh, lights that go on the, uh, the top of the fence post were the correct size and they weren't. And I had to buy 12 of them, six a box, right? But, um, they ended up not fitting. So now I'm returning them back to Home Depot. The reason why I got the fence is because, um, I hinted about it some videos ago about, um, getting a Doberman. Um, the Doberman's in the house. His name is Jax. I just haven't gotten him on camera because it's been kind of hard to get him on camera because he's in that puppy stage. But uh, let's see if we can get him on camera this video. Yeah. All right, guys. Mind you, my car has been... My car is dirty. Um, I haven't really washed it like that. But uh, just to... I think, uh, I think it's been either a week and some change. I don't remember. But anyways... It's been a little while now, I haven't washed it. And as you can see, my wheels are a little dirty, but it would have been 10 times worse with the uh, the Brembo brakes pads. But uh, yeah, man, not bad. Um, I mean, yeah, that's what two weeks worth does. I mean, they are gonna get dirty because you know, wear and tear, but the back ones look even cleaner, actually. The back ones look way cleaner. But um, yeah, man, that's how they look. Um, by the way, um, I'm going to be doing another mod to the, uh, the rear wheel, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, again, let me give you guys another look with the rotors and everything. They look cool, something like that. Um, you know, my, my uh, first impressions on it, I want to say two, two weeks or so of driving. Um, they're great, very smooth, nothing... Uh, you know too crazy uh um they uh, they grab really good and um it doesn't it doesn't feel rough and and uh i guess as harsh as the brembos um i haven't really done any um high speed driving where i had to like brake but um i think i may try some today yo so real quick um for any of my viewers that have their 392 um because I don't think uh, five sevens have Brembos, at least at the 2017 model. Um, if you would leave your 392 outside, because you were either living in an apartment or you have a carport or whatever your situation is, your car is outside, right? And it rains. And um, you let it sit the whole time throughout the rain. And the next day, um, your brakes start to squeal. Or at least mine's did. I want to know in the comments, did anybody else's brake squeal like after it rained? I used to hate that because I used to think there was something wrong with my car, but it was the water being on the brakes and, and stuff like that and then sitting overnight. But like, um, you know, obviously that, that that's not me anymore. I, I got a house last year. So, you know, uh, this car is in the garage most of the time. Now, honestly, it's, it's, it's probably a weekend warrior because I work from home now, so... I don't even drive Monday through Friday like that, honestly. Like, Monday through Friday, I'm just in the Sentra, so, you know. Um, but, yeah, here, the the, uh, the light's green right now. And, uh, again, with these brakes, they just, it just feels more comfortable, if that makes sense. Like, just more of a, uh, I guess, like a smoother transition to stop, where I feel like, um, the brumbles were a little harsh i mean don't get me wrong they stopped you know what i mean but it was just uh harsh and i guess i can only compare it now because i have different brake pads because like you know again like before i had the challenger i was driving a nissan altima so i had the brembo brakes and thought oh shit i got brembo brakes these things stop on a dime so here let me try to stop right now since it's a little clear yeah, see, it just even, so that was a harsh stop. That was like at, um, 
at like 60 miles per hour. I did like a harsh stop and uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It, it, I mean, obviously I jerked forward a little bit, but um, it just, it felt more smooth than, you know, the Brembo brake, like it stops and I feel like you feel like you're about to like propel out the car or something like that. I don't know if that has anything to do with the brakes, but it just feels a whole lot smoother. Like even now here when I'm stopping at the light, like it's just really smooth. And this was more of a gradual stop, just really smooth right here. And, um, you know, with the Brembo brakes, the gradual stop was, um, honestly, I had no complaints about that. It was pretty smooth. But, um, yeah, the, uh, oh, look, we got some bikers. Oh, biker squad. Look at them. Oh, you guys can't even see all of them. There's one back there, too. But anyways, um, yeah, the gradual stop on the uh, the Brembo brakes was uh, smooth, too. But it just, it just feels nice because everything just feels more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So, like, oh, I got cars behind me right now, so I can't, I can't do the braking too much. But, um, here, like, I'm, I'm coming to another stop. I'm going at 40 miles an hour, roughly. And then, um, let's do the gradual stop. And I'm not even applying that much pressure, guys. I mean, granted, the brakes are brand new, but it's just very very smooth like it doesn't feel like uh i don't know like in the brembo bags it would feel like a you know like a this movement right here and you're going all over the place and all the other shit like so we just hit you know a certain speed which I'm not going to disclose but it was, i was going relatively pretty fast and it um it braked really well let's try again great honestly but uh yo um don't try this at home i'm not saying do this i'm just demonstrating how the brakes feel and as you can see i was pretty much in control the entire time um i love these brake pads they're great Jax, Jax, come here come here welcome to the channel buddy hey hey can you sit hey can you sit stay shake Ah, good boy. So, Jax is 14 weeks, guys. I wanted to get him on video earlier, but man, it's just been it's just been a hassle. And then, you know, ever since we got the fence put up, it's just been great, which this is the first day with the fence up, so all right, guys. You saw Jax finally. I need to uh go do some house stuff now. My name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man.